All right, hello everyone, how's it going? And um, yeah, today we have another BXJS dev stream, uh, finally. <laughs> There's been quite some delay in between those, but uh, there we go. So um, here's what we're gonna be building today, right? I've uh, talked to you guys on Discord. If you are there, you know what we're gonna be doing. If not, then well, let me uh, clarify this. So we have the BXJS weekly um, podcast, right? And I gather the links for it every week. The way I do that is quite simple. I throw them into the telegram that I have. I created a separate channel for that. And then at the end of the week, I read through them, filter out the boring ones, essentially, and low quality ones and uh, create a new podcast, right? So uh, some of you guys said that it would be interesting for you to actually have access to those links, but not just in telegram. This channel is public, by the way, and the link is now available in the um, Discord. I should probably add it to other places as well. But yeah, some of you guys also said you want to have those links in a Discord. So we are going to do exactly that. We're going to code a bot that is connected to Telegram and that is connected to Discord and that translates the links from the Telegram into the Discord channel, right? Quite straightforward. And then we're going to expand that bot uh, so that I don't have to basically manually copy all those links because, you know, I mean, you can select like multiple messages, but it's still is not very convenient. So I just want to run one command and um, have the bot generate the markdown file for me so I can just read through it, filter it and be done with it essentially, right? So this is the general idea. Hey, Kevin, welcome to the stream. All right, so let's get started. I guess we are going to create a new repository for that. So let's just call it um, bxjs weekly. Um, I guess we had it. No, wait, what? bxjs weekly bot. Let's just call it like this. So bxjs weekly helper bot. Uh, this is going to be it. We're going to create public. I'm going to initialize it with the readme. Why not? Let's add an MIT license. Um, I mean, git ignore whatever we can copy it from somewhere else. And uh, then we are just gonna git clone that stuff. Right and uh, start, I guess, from uh, creating the telegram bot that actually receives the messages. So let me enter over this and npm init minus y. Right. Um, let me fire up the code. Uh, in case you haven't seen some of my tweets or messages in Discord, I now switch to running uh, VS Code and uh, basically everything that is related to development inside of the Linux part of the VSL, which is kind of cool. So this is actually VS Code running in the Linux side of the Windows, right? Uh, works relatively well. I'm like, I'm surprised how well it is. So we're gonna start with version 0.1. Uh, we don't, I am, we're not gonna have tests for now, but I guess let's just do node start, uh, node index.js over here. We got the repo, we got the author, whatever, homepage. Yeah, that's fine, that looks okay. So I'm gonna create index.js and then we're gonna create a source folder and we're gonna create the telegram.js, right? Um, and I guess index.js here as well. And uh, in our index, we're just going to say const start. Um, it's going to be require source. And then we're just going to call start, right? So very straightforward. Nothing super complex here. And then here is going to be, whoops, module exports. And it's just a function that starts stuff, right? So we just have that. Right, so for Telegram, uh, we need our Telegram um, library. I think I, I've used Telegram more than once already. It's uh, very straightforward. So we're just going to go with that. And npm install Telegram. And we're just going to go with this. And I think I actually need to, yeah. So I'm probably going to copy this, but we do need to. Um, change it a bit. So first of all, we don't need all of that stuff, right? So we just need some event. I don't think it's actually a message because so normally the bot hears the messages, but this, this event only works when you send the message directly to the bot because the bot is right now here in the channel, right? The way we have him here as a bot. Uh, I don't think it's actually gets the message event, but we're going to have to look at the docs here. Um, so we are gonna do this, right? So this seems fine. So bot token, uh, let me, let me just do this. What type modules? No, oh, come on. 
There's been a weird VSL error lately. Whenever you try, what, what, what is happening now? Not module type, no delete, what? Uh, no such file or directory. Okay, let me try to kill the folder and try to install again. So this is one of the issues that I've been having with the uh, updated VSL from time to time, it just starts complaining about some weird files when you npm install things. And I, I don't know why that happens. That did not happen before the latest update. So I guess VSL just like VSL team just broke something. Right, um, coming back to it, that looks better. Mm, so we got the telegraph, we got this, let me just move off screen and export the bot token. Uh, so I have it in my environment clear. So theoretically, uh, now when I do npm start, it should pick up the boat token from the my environment. Now we don't need the message, we need something else, um, I believe. Like one of the problems I have with telegraph is that they don't really have a well documented events. Also, I believe this is more of a telegram thing. Uh, hey, Tim, welcome to the stream. All right, but I think they do have um, events in a test folder. So we're just going to quickly have a look at that. Right, so we got, there you go, channel post. This is what we want. Uh, we are coding a bot that will translate the messages from the Telegram channel where I post them and collect them for BXGS Weekly to our Discord server so that all the people who are interested could follow them essentially. Right, so we, what? No, I copied it. Did I uh, paste it? No, what? No. Okay, that's a new bug. Okay, right, channel post. Let's just write it this way. Okay, console log context, right? So let's just see what we actually get there. And um, ta -da 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 -da, module exports. I mean, I guess for now, we just export the start function. And that's it. Uh, we would need some way to communicate between the telegram bot and BX, uh, sorry, the Discord bot, but we'll get to that later. Start telegram, uh, require telegram, right? And we just do start telegram and we're done, right? So theoretically, this should work. If we do uh, npm start, we should get our boat running and we got what? Oh, it, wait, does it actually get all the messages that are right now in the channel? Or did it? Does it get all the ones that it basically haven't received before? Is that how it works? Because I've added the bot to the channel, but then I didn't receive any messages. I guess this is exactly how it works. So, okay, so let's try. So we just go here and do one, two, three. Right, there we go. So we got a bunch of functions here and this is the interesting part for us, right? So we got that, we can copy this and let's see. So we got uh, const, we want text, right? So we only care about text here. So it's going to be context, update, channel, post. And that's basically it. So theoretically, if we do console log text now, we're actually going to get a message. That's basically all we need from it, right? So if I restart that, and we go to the telegram bot, we probably should kill that uh, message something and we get the text. Perfect. So yes, let's delete that. Um, so the next thing is we need to actually create a discord bot, right? So the other other side of it, discord JS, uh, no discord JS. Hey, my Patrick's welcome to the stream. How's it going, man? So discord no JS, I, I'll be honest with you, I have not ever created any discord bot. So this is going to be a first experience for me. I'm probably going to mess up a lot, but we're going to try it anyway. You know what? npm install discord JS. Uh, right. So let's see discord client client already client login token. Uh, okay, so I guess we need to get the token generated from somewhere uh, on message ready. Okay, logged in as client user tag. Going well working in the office. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, you know, uh, it's close to the lunch break. So Fail to fetch. Um, maybe you could eat your lunch and watch me code different bollocks. You know, you know how that works. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Node.js 6 or newer. Yeah, whatever. Ping avatar, server greetings, moderation. Uh, I guess we want something like this on message. Uh, 
So I guess I have to invite the bot first. Is there like a getting started tutorial or something? Topics, ping, classes, general welcome, uh, installation, official package, blah, blah, blah. Token, website, documentation. Um, yeah, that's not very helpful. Contribution guide, double check the docs, Discord.js server, Discord.js guy, guide. Is this guide what I want? Yes, that looks like what we want. Okay, requesting installing Node.js and Discord.js, setting up a linter, setting up a bot application. Ah, there we go. This is what we want, right? So we go log in, go to developer portal, okay. And click applications link, right, got it. Uh, so we create a new application. Okay, cool. BXJS weekly bot. Right, so we got that. Uh, general information is BXJS weekly bot. Let's throw in, um, where's my downloads? I have the BXJS logo over here. So this is BXJS weekly links bot. Let's call it this way. Permissions bake a cake. I mean, I wouldn't mind that, but <laughs> right. So let's save that. Okay, so what do we want? We want, I guess, the bots tab, right? Okay, cool. Uh, blah, 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 I guess. Add a bot. Okay, uh, will that show my token immediately? Uh, after you'll see a section like this. In this panel, I can give it blah, 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 get a name, blah, 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 okay. Copy a token, okay, I mean, let's try, you know what? The worst case, I can just regenerate that, right? Click to reveal the token, there we go, okay. So I am gonna do the same thing off screen, export Discord boots um, token. I'm gonna paste it over here. I'm gonna do that off screen so that you guys don't know any of the Discord tokens that I actually have, right? That's not gonna be good. Click to reveal the token, there we go. Um, right, copy that, paste it here, export it, clear. There we go, okay. Um, ta -ta -ta. I think we're done. Okay, uh, oh, that was a mistake, god damn it. I have to regenerate it now. <laughs> it just flashed it on the screen, god damn it. Right, let's try this again. Um, bot token, uh, regenerate, yes. Thank you very much. Copy that, paste it over here. That's a new one, cool. Okay, good. Um, there we go, okay, now it's not revealed anymore. Perfect, so let me not screw it up anymore. All right, um, where is my terminal? Come back here, cool. So we now have the process.env.discord boots token, right? I probably should rename the Telegram boat token to Telegram boat token at one point, but whatever, that's fine. Uh, we don't need message reply, we don't need that actually. We want to post to a very specific uh, channel. So console log, first of all, let's just test that it actually works, right? And uh, then we're gonna module export. So we're gonna export our start function that essentially in this case, we'll just start the client login process. And then we just do this, start uh, Discord, right? Require, no, require Discord, there we go. Hey Bagao, welcome to the stream. Start Discord. All right, so that should start the Discord bot. Uh, that's try to do this npm start and log in okay cool so we got the bots now how the hell do i make it uh listen to things i guess i should add it somehow to the right what is a token token leak no that's fine add bot to your servers this is what we want Boat in my lead. the basic version of such link look like this uh blah 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 or it's not uh, so okay Let's see, the first part, Discord standard struct. Okay, this is old link. Creating a using your own invite link. Uh, did I close the other tab too soon? Requires O2 public bots. I mean, do we want only you can join this bot to servers? Yes, I don't want it to be public because we don't want it to live anywhere else. And what it requires is sending messages. It requires reading messages. I guess it view channels, maybe, no? I don't know. Does it need to view? I guess it doesn't need to view channels, right? So I just need to read messages and send messages. And I guess read messages is default. So I think we're good. 
Okay, um, now how do I add it to my channel? So we got add bot to a Discord server. So head back to my apps, okay. So this app and where do I do that? Client ID parameter with your client ID and hit, uh, wait, wait, what? I have to manually generate this link? Are you for real right now? Is there no convenient way to do that? Like I get it, there's the client ID. Um, there's gotta be an easier way to add a bot to the server. Like first of all, send messages. Why is this not saving? Copy, oh, I guess it's a permissions integer that you have to manually assign everywhere, okay. If your application requires multiple scopes, no, I don't care about the scopes. Wait, for real, that's like Discord has no simple way to add the bot, okay. I mean, sure, whatever. So we need the uh, bots, uh, where is our client ID, there we go. This thing, right, so, right. BXJS weekly add to server BXJS. Cool, authorize. This is <laughs> not very convenient, but fine. Uh, connect to Discord, I, I guess I guess it's done. Uh, or, oh, there's a recapture thing here. Okay, let me refresh that. I guess it wants the capture entered. Oh, God damn it. Yes, let's, let's just allow all JavaScript and try this. This is, I'm not a robot, yes. Cool, okay, authorize. So I guess this should add a bot over here, BXS Weekly bot, there we go. So I guess I'm new to Discord. Yes, indeed, he is new to Discord. Uh, let me see, so we need, we need what? No, that's my settings. We need the settings for the server settings. We need the roles and um, Streamlabs bots, yeah, I guess let's just say bots. I don't know, Streamlabs bots, manage roles. Nah, it doesn't matter. Okay, reset. Let's create a new role for him. And let's call it BXJS bots. Yeah, let's, let's call it properly, right? No, you know what? Let's just call it bots, whatever. That's, no, nah. that's a bad idea, right? <laughs> let's just go with BXJS weekly bot. That sounds better because he needs a very specific permissions. He needs to be able to change nickname, send messages, right? That's basically all it needs to a very specific channel. So this channel is restricted, so not everyone can send messages there. Um, roles, BXGS weekly bot. There we go. And um, so the thing is that this BXJS Weekly channel is only currently not, not any, let me try this again. No one is allowed to post anything in here right now. We're gonna add the BXJS Weekly bot and we're gonna say that he can send messages. Um, theory that should be, should be uh, fine. Okay, we have some messages here already. So I guess someone of you posted to general. I oh, know it's actually, wait, did he just get auto join message? Message, text, general discussions. Yeah, okay, so, so it joined the server and got the message about uh, that. So I, I'm imagine test message, let me just, I know that you will hate me for that, but uh, let me just see, um, you would central, blah, 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 avatar, uh, nickname Tim. So yes, this seems like this is my, where's the text? Last message, ID, content, test message, there we go. Okay, cool. So that actually seems to be working, but, um, this is uh, the prophecy was real, yeah. I mean, close enough. Right, so we now can read the messages, but I honestly don't really care about that, right? So we don't really care about reading the messages. We do care about posting the messages. And uh, now we're gonna try um, to find out how the hell do you do that? Creating your bot, command handling, popular topics, miscellaneous uh, databases, sharding, uh, that, that's all very complicated. We need something way stupider. Um, I guess maybe in a Discord JS itself. Um, where is my documentation? Right, let's see. Uh, voices, topics, so message, so you can reply to messages, but how do you post a messages to a specific channel? Group um, server message embeds, no, server greeting. Yeah, that's that sounds like on guild.mem, no, okay, this is a different event. I just need to 
send messages on message send pong no messages channel okay so this is a reference to a specific channel so i guess there should be a way to get a channel right mm, properties uh so i guess we, we we get the client as our primary entry point which means there should be a way to get a channel fetch user fetch invite fetch application i get a reference uh, channels there we go i guess this is what we want right so let's see uh, if we go here and say on ready we're gonna say client channels right console log let's just log that and see what we get as a return if we just get the client uh sorry the channels this way and there we go okay so what are the channel channel yeah there we go so we want bxjs weekly channel but we can filter by name right so uh cons bxjs weekly channel it's gonna be client channels find uh so the channel channel name is equal to bxjs weekly right there we go okay and theoretically if i now console log this bxjs weekly channel if I now console log this, uh, let me break this, we should get the channel info. Right, there we go. Okay, uh, messages. So this is a channel reference, we get everything we need to about it. How do I can I just like do channel dot post or whatever. So I guess this is a channel class, right? So we get this to the channel and properties methods deletes no we don't want to delete the channel how do i send a message to the channel i mean they had a message sending somewhere here right message channel dot send can i do dot send let's try uh no i can't um client send no hmm. right uh let's try to figure out how do we send method messages set timeouts and a login generate invite fetch user okay boy all right um discord uh, discord js send message to a specific channel there we go that seems to be a common topic <laughs> um channels get aha uh -huh. okay id so we need to give an id and then you can send all right so we get the id which is dot id okay i mean we already know the id so i guess it won't change right so we can just hard code that const bx js um weekly channel id do that uh, that should be a string i guess and let's just uh, try that clients chat uh, what was it again channels get yes channels what channels get bxjs weekly channel id it's weird that you cannot just find the channel and it doesn't reference the actual no but wait it seems like it returns the same primitive so can I just do send uh, test? Does that that actually work? Am I just overthinking it? Uh, send is not a function. No, okay, that won't work. Uh, so let's try let's try the other way. Ch uh, so we go that channels get bx just weekly channel id send test right? Okay, would would this work? Uh, bxjs missing permissions. Uh, okay okay i thought i have actually allowed him to send there but i guess not permissions bxs weekly bots uh send messages allow okay would that fix it let's try this again i guess because i restricted everyone from sending messages it there we go it actually works awesome okay so we got the messages uh working we got the both we got the telegram part reading the messages we got the discord part sending the messages now what we need to do first of all let's just do this console log um telegram bot started right and right so we got this message da, 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 and now we need some sort of an interface between the two right so we need to take the messages from telegram side and somehow share them into the discord side like the stupidest approach would be i guess just to create the uh, event emitter or something like this uh but let me think is there a better way so like i'm just thinking in in the long run would the basic event emitter be enough or would we want to have something more sophisticated 
Um, let me think. I mean, may maybe event emitter is just enough. So let me think for a second. Uh, did I? First of all, no, it's fine. So let me think. Um, npm. I remember having seen some like events. Very tiny library around event emitter because you know manually writing event emitter is a bit annoying like the the amount of work required is bleh. so if there's a library that allows you to do that like the one from mr cindrosaurus for example who is always great and awesome so we can event emitter finish now that doesn't look like what we want let's have a look at his line I, like i feel like at this point he should just create some sort of a catalog of the modules he he made because i would be using that majority of time <laughs> oh man okay um let's see refine twitter refine github fkill okay let's just maybe search for event here immediate emittery all oh, right this was the one right 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 so we got the emittery thing on yes i Yes, we could just use a midary for now, right? And if we need something more complex, then um, we could s switch. Right, so we got the emittery. Um, event emitter three, what is that? I don't think I've heard about this. Um, event, because there is also number two and we're faster. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, event emitter three, once on remove event listener. That's also, I mean, you know what, emitter looks fine. We're just gonna go with that. So we are, right, so we're gonna create, um, you know what, maybe there's a, wait a second. Now that I'm thinking, maybe there's a message bus, message bus uh, thingy here. Nano bus, AM, no, we don't want the MQP bus. We want something very, very simple. No jet, um, Da, 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 da. Floca, bus MQ. This is again RMQ that is too complicated. We want something very, very simple. Again, nano bus is what? Uh, why not use Node API? Oh, so it's actually, it has the topic. So it's like a proper message bus with top. We don't really need that. Okay, you know what? Emitter would work fine. We, we don't need to overcomplicate things. Let's just. Right, let's just roll it simple and then see if we message bus, let's just call it like this. We create the emitter, right? So we do this. And uh, we actually just do module exports emitter, right? So we just share the emitter and that's basically it. Okay, so then here in the Discord, we would say const message bus require um, message bus and we do the same in Telegram. And in this case, we say message bus emit uh, message text, right? That's basically all we want. And we don't need this console log here anymore. Right, so we send it through message bus. Um, I guess let's just um, do it like this. That's a bit more concise, I guess. And in this case, we want to subscribe, right, to message. And once we get this message, we get a text. And literally all we want to do is send it over to Discord. Text. Right? I think that's basically all we need to do, to be honest. But uh, let's just try it. NPM start. So Telegram bot started, BXJS bot started. Let me just clean this stuff out so we don't need that. Uh, report, no, I'm not gonna report my own bot. Okay, so here's we got our test message from Telegram. Ta-da, it actually works, perfect. Okay, so we got the basics uh, done basically. Um, why don't I use node event emitter? Because it's annoying to set it up. Like emitter is, I think it's literally, it's like 200 bytes. It's just a nicer interface for that. <laughs> you could, we could use the basic node emitter and I think emitter actually uses, no, it actually doesn't. It has some very tricky stuff under the hood. All right, I mean, let me, I mean, last time I used event emitter and node, it was a bit annoying. Um, Notes, docs, uh, da, da, da. let me see. Maybe I am, I haven't tried it in a long time and it's like way simpler now. Maybe I'm just overthinking it, but uh, let me just quickly check. We got event emitter, uh, require events, my emitter. Okay, 
maybe it is actually better to use no event emitter. You are correct. So I guess last time I checked it out was a very long time ago and um, it is indeed way simpler now. NPM RM. Right, okay, let's remove the emittery and let's switch to the event emitter. Why not? Yes, that actually seems like it would remove one of the dependencies. Come on, copy stuff. Oh, come on. Now this is... What? No. God damn it. Why do you have to be like this? Occasionally, Windows subsystem for Linux just breaks and stop, stops things from working. Event emitter require events, right? This is how you do it. Events, okay. And uh, new my, what, are, what is my emitter? Where is this coming from? Uh, my emitter, wait a second. Where is this coming from? Where's my emitter? Uh, oh, okay, so yeah, they extend it so I can just create a basic one, right, okay. So we don't really need to, whoops, there we go. Okay, so I think that should work, right? So let's try, npm start. And thank you, Kevin, for pointing this out. For whatever reason, I still remember the very cumbersome and annoying thing um, that you would set up basically in, uh, I think it was like last time I checked event emitter and Node.js was like version zero point something. So it, yeah, it did change quite a bit. Test and it works. Okay, perfect. So we actually got this down. I guess it's time to commit that. Um, let me think clear. Right, and first of all, git, uh, I don't have my git extra set up. Right, uh, git echo node modules into git ignore. Let's ignore, there we go. Okay, that looks good. Du -du -du. Right, git commit basic bot version that, uh, that, uh, translates messages from Telegram to Discord. There we go. Okay, um, sign the commits and we're good. Uh, can you paste the link to Telegram group chats? No, it's not private anymore. The link is actually in the uh, info in the, um, I mean, I guess I can just share it as well on the, um, what do you call it? On the dis God, Twitch, I'm forgetting names. There you go. So I just shared it on Twitch as well in the chat and it's also in the uh, info on the Discord server. And I guess I should also paste it in a different like the website, but we'll do it at some point. <laughs> All right, uh, so we did that. We don't need that anymore. We don't need that anymore. Now we've been doing this for about half an hour. So I guess we have half an hour more. Um, what I would do in addition is that, as I said, you know, the another an annoying, uh, the another annoying bit about the the whole management thing is that once I gather all those links, right, I have to actually manually copy that. I typically just select the messages like this, all of them, then copy that stuff, uh, create a new file, paste it there, and then manually go through that, which is not very convenient, right? So it takes like, I don't know, an hour maybe to go through all the links uh, on Saturday. So we're gonna simplify that. Uh, hey Donna, welcome to the stream. Yes, it is early this time around. And uh, thank you very much for your donation as usual. Okay, so we are gonna, uh, we're gonna make a Telegram bot, or I guess the bots uh, manage this links for us. So we need to, first of all, we need to collect those links into uh, some sort of a collection, right? And once I issue the commands to the bot, we need to generate the markdown file out of those links and uh, send it to me. I guess, I don't know, do I need a markdown? I don't even need a markdown. I actually just need a, every me like one message per line or something like this, right? Because that will be if sufficient. So it's just, if I could evade essentially copy pasting that manually, that will make it, 20 times simpler. So we got, so I committed everything, right? I did not push it yet, that is fine. Um, BX just weekly, like, let's just uh, do some maintenance here. BX just weekly uh, link spot. BX just weekly helper bot that uh, translate, um, that translate, not translates is the wrong word. What, what, what is the word that I'm looking for? That's okay. You know what? I'll just use sense. Um, 
links from Telegram to Discord. There we go. Okay, so what do we want to do? All right, so we don't care about the Discord part. This is basically done. We don't really need much more here. We don't care about the index because this is our starting point. We're basically done here. Message bus is also done because it's super stupid. So what we want is we want a new entity. Forwards. Did I do a typo there? For ah, okay. No. For yes. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> That's the right word. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right. Um, Okay, so we want another entity. Uh, whoops, not a folder. Uh, we want a new file. Let's call it storage, right? So we want a new storage file that will, I guess, in memory storage would be no. In memory storage wouldn't fly, right? Because if we have to update the boat bot and we restart it, we will lose all the progress, and that is not something I want. Unless I want to update it only once I've done with the. Um, episodes, which is not nice. So we need some sort of a way to persist the storage, which means that we need some sort of a storing module, um, I guess, file system based, this probably works. Um, so node simple FS DB. There is low DB. Um, Da, 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 da. There was the law key that I typically use, but it is very complicated. We need something like super dumb, like key value, basically get posts. Okay, that actually looks quite nice. I never used it, but we could try. So you can ta da da. Is this promises? What about JSON server? Uh, NetDB is also yes. NetDB is also a nice option. JSON server get a full. Uh, but we don't need the server, right? We just need to directly interact with the file, like. Um, I don't, I don't want to have a server Like I don't want to get, you know, send the post request just to manage stuff. I want something simpler. So right, uh, persistence in ADB. Yeah, right. So we got the NADB and we got the uh, low DB. Low DB actually looks quite nice. Powered by Lodash. JSON database, blah, blah, blah. Um, is there like some performance comparisons or something? I mean, I guess we won't have more than a uh, hundred articles per week. I guess. So when was the last commit? Five days ago, April third. So I guess NetDB is more or less stable. So it's like uh, doesn't have promises. I remember one of one of my gripes with NetDB was that it wasn't supporting promises. So you had to do like callbacks or promiseify everything. Does LoDB support promises? Right. Uh, blah 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 blah. Is this a promise? Tell me it is a promise. Underscore value get state, or is it just? Yeah, it is a promise. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go with low DB because it's because it uses promises, and I like my promises better than callbacks. Okay, so install low DB. So we got uh, yes. Yeah, so we're gonna go with that file. Yes. I'm just gonna copy the whole thing because why not? Right, we got our message bus and format this for me, please. There we go. Okay, and in this case, we also need um, const path require uh, path, right? So I'm just gonna, instead of just using the dbjs, uh, dbjson, we are gonna construct a path to it. It's gonna be join dear name, and then it's gonna be uh, two dots db dbjson, right? Uh, okay, so we create the low db, we create posts, we don't need the user. So we literally just need that, right? Um, now, here's the question. Yes, I mean, required if your file JSON is empty. Uh, okay, here's Oh, so I guess defaults means that it won't write if it's already written. Okay, cool. Um, and I guess const, uh, no, I guess module exports, let's just do it like here, exports. So this is our, I guess we could make it the sync and init it properly. I'll wait this and that's basically all we want, right? So uh, in index.js, we're gonna say const start db require uh, storage. And I guess before everything else, we're going to start the DB, then we're going to start all of this stuff. 
I guess we have to also actually await it because we want the DB to initialize before everything else. So we don't care. Do we actually we do we do actually care the about the order over here as well, right? So actually, actually, <laughs> it has to be okay. We don't need to await the so we we need to make Discord into a promise too because we care so that the Discord should be initialized after. No, before the telegram, right? Because this is where the messages go. Right, and to do that, we actually do new promise resolve. Ta -ta -ta, we do this and okay, so we do login and then we do this client on ready is gonna move over here. And once it's done, we're gonna resolve, whoops. We're gonna resolve, that's basically it, right? Okay, so this means that we're gonna connect to Discord. So we're gonna need the database first, then we're gonna connect to Discord, and now only then we're gonna start a Telegram and start listening to the messages. Right, so we got that, we got the storage, and let's just try it out, npm start. Let's see, and I, okay, so there's no, okay, we need to create the directory. That is not what I wanna press, db. I guess it will, I hope it will create the file itself, right? Yes, it will, okay, cool. So now we got the dbjson. Um, I guess let's commit that. This is gonna be our uh, sort of baseline, I guess. Sam create basic db um, correctly in its bots. Okay, that looks fine. So now that we have the database, what we need to do is two things. First of all, we have to write the post there. And actually I should change that. No, I don't, I don't care, right? So because we can just say bus on message, right? And that's our text. So what we say is we just write to this, we do this, right? DB posts push ID. We don't care about ID. We just care about text, literally just that, right? And that's basically all we want. So this is one thing, but we do need a way to access this database and to get the messages from the Telegram site. So start DB, I guess we're gonna have to expose the other function here, which means we're gonna, we're gonna have to do this, right? So first of all, let's just start it and check that we actually save the messages, which should be relatively easy to do test. So we got just to see, okay, this, this happens, this happens, and then the DB should have the text test. Cool. So I, I mean, can I just here's the question? I, I mean, I don't care about the name of the thing, right? So can I just push the text? And will that actually work? Let me clean up the stuff again. <laughs> this is going to be the continued theme of today's stream. Um, Oh wait, yeah, yeah, I can't can delete, right? No, oh, oh God, no, don't delete seven messages, delete just one, there we go. Okay, npm start. So right now, if I'm understanding it correctly, it's gonna, once I send a test, it's just gonna create a strict, yeah, okay, so it didn't delete the old one, but it now has the new one, which is fine, so we can actually wipe that too. Right, so we're gonna have just an array of strings, which is perfectly uh, good for our case. And uh, what we want now is we want the Telegram bot to have a command, right? Bot commands, I think there was this way, uh, was the Telegraph thing. So we want, um, is there a text ID? Why do you want a text ID? I mean, we, we just, we don't care about that, right? We just have texts. Like, I mean, I could push the whole message, but we honestly don't care about all of that stuff because literally the most important thing is the uh, string of the message, right? Because IDs and everything else doesn't really matter that much unless I'm missing something. And if I do, please do tell me. Um, okay, so we want, yes, we want commands. Okay, uh, we want commands. Um, generate, or I guess let's call it dump, because why not? It's gonna be context. Right, so we wanna dump commands that will um, generate a markdown. Uh, no, not a markdown, I mean, it's just a, li just a large string essentially, right? It's just concatenate all of those 
documents and then wipe our database because this is what we want. Okay, so what we need here is we need to access our DB. Um, I guess in this case, I'm just gonna say exports get, get uh, posts, right? And it's gonna be um, DB get posts. And how do I get all the posts set update? How do I find, can I just find all of them? Value. Um, Performance value instead of right if you're on your okay, so posts finds and get is there like a find all? I guess this should work, right? Value. So we can do this, and I guess it's also a sync, uh, which means that in this case it's gonna be require storage um get posts. So this got to be a sync now. Const posts await get posts, and then we just do context reply um, posts join. We just join them by the line break, right? I think that should work. Um, let's try npm start. So right now dbjson is empty, cool. Uh, so the board uh, stuff is working. New message, one to three tests. So we should have three messages here. We should have three messages in our database. And if I go to the bots, um, now where's the question, where is, I think this one, yeah, there you go. It's all wrong. So if I do dump over here, it actually doesn't do anything. Post join is not a function. Okay, so this is not what I expected it to be. Right, uh, let's see. Console log posts. So what do we get back? Um, let me just do that. And I guess we can restart it because we already have the database generated. We can just um, call dump. New message, what do you mean new message? Oh, it only gets one value. Uh, how do I find all? Okay, get all blah, 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 mix ins get second value. Read uh, where do I have state been updated? Read then with uh, read the source adapters. How to query? Yes. How do I get all the values? Check if as filter take five value map get size value. Oh, can I just say get and then say value? Is that all I need to do? Uh, let me try this again. Um, <laughs> get post. So we want to change this here. So I guess I just want to do that, right? Is that is that what I want to do? Where's this new message? Oh, new message was this console log from over here, right? Okay, slash dump. Do we get, yes, there we go, finally. Why you don't use debug in VS Code? I am too lazy for that. <laughs> I only rely on the debug uh, in, like, I mean, really in VS Code or Chrome or whatever, when I have uh, something very complex to debug. You know, if it's something as simple as that, then it's typically fine. Uh, so first of all, let me clean this up again. Yes, please delete all of that, delete, no, let's not report my own bots, that will be unfortunate. Uh, okay, cool, so we did that slash dump. Hey, it actually works, cool. And if I copy this text, I will basically be able to paste it somewhere. Okay, cool. Now, um, so we did that, we send it, now here's, there's two problems. So first of all, we need to clean the database, right? So we need exports clear DB. And we need to say that it's gonna be return DB get posts. And I don't know, how do you, is there like remove everything? Remove property um clear or something no okay i will remove just clear it um remove do i have to call value or something remove right i have to call it no 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 
have to call dot write. Okay, so we do that. Theoretically, that should remove all the posts, right? So we could get db. Uh, we do whoops. No, come on. Clear db. So we set. We get the posts. We send them to the user. We clear db. Now um, another problem is that if we just leave it like this, then anyone can just go and screw with my bot and call slash dump, right? So we need to, uh, basically, I, I guess there would be a better ways of doing it, but I would just restrict the command execution to my own ID. Um, and uh, to do that, I'm gonna console log context and get the user information to see what exactly is my ID slash dump. Right, and this is bot info, this is update message ID, date text. So how do I get from, okay, I need this update message from, okay. Da, 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 update, so context, what? CTX update message from, const, okay, from, Right, if, so basically what I wanna do is if from is from me, then I will clear the database. If it's not from me, then I'll just dump the current post, right? I think that's a fair way of doing it. Okay, uh, from. Right, uh, did it actually wipe the database? Yes, it did, cool. Okay, so it actually works as expected. Um, I guess let's restart that. And if we do slash dump, it's gonna be empty. And there is ID. So I guess, yeah, I guess I'll just uh, copy that ID and do a say const owner. I'll just, you know what? I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to hard code that. It's a, it's a number. Yes, it is a number here. I guess we could use username because it's just more convenient, right? Uh, owner and it's going to be Yamalites. And if we're going to say if from dots username equals owner, then we wipe the database. That's basically all I want. Uh, Chrome DevTools better to inspect. I mean, Chrome DevTools are really amazing, but unless you have a very complex case where you need to step through code or, you know, pause the execution to see the intermediate states and stuff like this, I honestly just <laughs> think the console log is easier to use. And the other pro bad message text is empty. Okay. So I guess if we have to do if posts uh, length. So if there's no post, we just return and send context reply. No saved uh, messages yet. And da, 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 this had to be strict equal. Okay, I think that basically does it. Um, start. Right, so we got this started. We now have to send something to our BXGS. Uh, so first of all, I oh know there's already three people in the channel. What are you doing? Stop it. Test one to three ASD. So we got those messages, right? Cool. And now if we go to the bot and say dump, now it's okay. So and now it should also wipe. Cool. Sim seems to be working. Perfect. Um, let me think. First of all, we actually okay, I will do that later. This is not a big problem. This is fine. This is fine. I think we're basically done with this. Uh, let me think am I missing something? Uh, are there any dev tools for the yes, there is the um, nodes inspect flag, right? You can do the um, uh, minus minus inspect flag for the nodes. And then you can just open the uh, something in the browser. I mean, let me just demonstrate it. This is like this is one of the really cool features. Um, okay, nodes inspect, and we just go index.js. So here's the cool thing. If you fire up the um, DevTools, you get this, and, and there's a Node.js running in the background. You get this Node.js button. If you click it, you will actually get the DevTools that are attached to your current Node.js. 
So you can actually get access to the um, whatever is basically you need to, right? So it's like we can um, we cannot take a heap snapshot for some reason. Loads. Uh, no, I guess static Java. Oh, I guess because my Node.js is running in the um, VSL world, it's a bit off. <laughs> But actually, yes, if you're running on the same system, it should work painlessly, which is kind of awesome. So if you didn't know about it, make sure to read the official docs. This is kind of really good. All right, uh, first of all, yes. I guess we, we're basically done for today. So we've done everything. The messages will not translate. I got the easy way to um, get them into my, uh, you know, resulting document essentially. So. Yeah, that's basically it for today. So let me just commit that. Git, let me just check the diff. So right, git commit collect messages and other way to get full collection from Telegram. Right. Cool. Um I guess we could also deploy that. Exoframe JSON. Uh, I guess. I guess we're gonna do. Uh, oh right. Oh man, there's this another annoying bug in PM uh, with Exoframe. Come on, can you please? So, again, like using VSL is sometimes so painful that it's just I don't know why I tried to do that, but <laughs> other times it's just really good. And no, that's still broken. God damn it. Okay. Um, we could do this from power. No, we couldn't do this from okay. You know what? We're gonna do the deployment at other point because for some reason it just doesn't work right now. Uh the exoframe in, in VSL, I mean. Um but yeah. Remote debugging with help with Docker too. Yes, definitely. Like remote debugging can be extremely helpful. All right, so right, let me just kill that, move to trash, delete, yes. Uh, right, I think we're actually done. So we got this, we got that, the DB is now empty, cool. Yeah, we're basically done here. Oops, get push. We probably should set up the CI, CD and some tests at a later date, but I think for now that is okay. So yeah, what's the purpose of building these two bots? Um, the purpose is simple. So I use the Telegram as my primary sort of source to dump the links that I found on mobile, right? Because it's very easy to share to it. And you guys were interested in reading the same links in Discord. So I built a bot that basically translates the links from the Telegram into Discord. So you can read them there. So I don't have to manually share it into five places, you know? And I also basically now have a nice commands to automatically uh, get all the links in one uh, nice message instead of manually collecting that at the weekend, which is annoying as hell. So there you go. All right, um, did I push it or did I? Yes, I did push it. There we go. Okay, uh, let me just do this. I uh, will watch this. Right, so we just need to deploy that and we're basically done. And exaframe is broken for some reason. Is it because of the nodes? Wait. So npm rm minus g exaframe is like, I still don't understand. Sometimes everything works perfectly fine with VSL, but then you get like Windows update and half of the thing starts breaking. And I don't know why. Um, so if I use WhatsApp for that, I mean, WhatsApp is first of all, Facebook. So uh, I, I still use it. I still have it because of some friends, but man, I try to evade it as much as possible. Um, but yeah, it's like, no, you know what? Kekesh? What is, what is Kekesh? Okay. You know what? Let's try NPM cache clear. Was it clear or clean? No, clean. Uh, no, npm five kills itself. npm cache. Oh, npm cache. Oh, okay. So you don't know. You no longer have to do that. npm install minus g npm. Let's try to update npm. Maybe that will fix it. No worries. I judge myself too. <laughs> I mean, that's a good approach. I mean, I, you know, Telegram so far has been like the main thing I like about Telegram and the main reason why I use it on mobile is because it's very snappy and very fast. Like 
is literally a lot faster than just about any other messenger and a lot more efficient in terms of resources. Okay, so we got six, nine, right. So let's try npm install minus g exaframe. Can we make it work? So if, not, if it won't work right now, I'll just wrap up the stream and then we can figure it out later or maybe I can just figure it out myself because literally, you know, the, trying to debug my problems with VSL exo init. No, that is still doesn't work for whatever reason. I like, why? Okay, cannot find module Peter. You know what? Okay, whatever. So this is problems with my machine. We're not gonna be debugging this live on, on, on the stream. But anyway, we are done. Uh, the source code are up and yeah, it's like, um, we're done basically. I'm gonna deploy it today once I solve the exaframe issue. So that's basically it. As usual, feel free to join our Discord server. Um, the Telegram channel is also public. It's been posted in the Twitch channel. It's also available in the info over here on Discord. It's basically uh, t.me slash bxjsweekly. And uh, that's basically it. Um, I mean, the deployment process is gonna be very similar to what we have with the website right now. So it's just gonna be exaframe JSON with uh, secrets for Telegram and uh, Discord. And this, that's basically it. I'm just gonna run exaframe deploy. And that's, that's why I built exaframe because I just deploy everything with it now. So yeah, it's, I don't even think we need a separate Docker file for it because we just run nodes uh, npm start. So there you go. All right, um, that's basically it from my side. Um, I mean, we could, I could guide you through the deployment process next stream, and then we could also set up the CI. I guess that would be a nice continuation. And then we can see if I come up with a new ideas for it to expand it. But yeah, that's basically it. Right, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the stream. If you missed some parts of it, the VOD will be available on Twitch immediately or on YouTube uh, after the Twitch experts it to it. So basically, it's basically that's it for me for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you next time. Bye.